Welcome to MathsMaster.org. We're going to have a look at short division. Now, short division is a fantastic method, nice and quick uh, way to do division. And so let's have a look at this first example. We're going to do 963. We're going to divide that by 3. So notice how I've laid out my workings down here that the 3 goes to the left of what looks like a, like a bus shelter uh, sign and then under that bus shelter I put the 963 as you can see there so 963 divided by 3 we lay out like this then we start by looking at this 9 and saying how many times does 3 go into 9 well 3 goes into 9 3 times doesn't it 3 times 3 is 9 so we put a 3 up here then we look at the next number across, that's this 6, and we ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 6? Well, it goes in twice. 2 3s are 6. It goes in twice. And then finally, we look at this number over here, the 3, and we ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 3? Well, just once. So we put the 1 up there, and the answer to our question is 321. Okay, looking at another example now, we're going to do 842 and divide that by 2. So again, we lay out our workings as you can see down here, with the 2 to the left of the bus shelter and then the 842 underneath it, as you can see. Okay, right, next thing we do, we ask ourselves, how many times does 2 go into this 8? Well, it goes in 4 times, doesn't it? Four twos are eight. Four times two is eight. So we put the four up there. Okay, now, how many times does the two go into this four? Well, it goes in twice. Two times two is four. And then to finish off, we ask ourselves, how many times does two go into this two? Well, it goes in just once. So the answer to this one is 421. Okay, another example now. We're going to do 155 divided by 5. So we lay out our workings, as you can see below, just as we did before, and then we start off on the left-hand side as we did, and we ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go into this 1? Well, it doesn't go in at all, if you think about it. 1 times 5 would be 5, and we're asking ourselves, how many times does 5 go into 1? Well, it goes in 0 times, so we put the 0 up there, but there's that one remainder, that one left over from the last question. So, that one that's left over, we then put up here to turn this number into 15. Okay, then we say to ourselves, how many times does the 5 go into this 15? Well, 5 goes into 15 three times, so we put a 3 up here. And then we move along to the next number, how many times does 5 go into this 5? Well, just once. So we put the 1 up there, and the answer to our question is 31. Okay, let's have a look at uh, another example now where we need to do uh, use these remainders that we had to last time, just so we get a bit more familiarity with these. We're going to do 224 and divide that by 7. Okay, so we lay out our workings as you can see, and then we say, how many times does 7 go into 2? Well, 0 times. So you put the 0 up here. And then there's two remainder, there's that two left over, zero times with a remainder of two. So the two that's left over, we write up here to turn this number into 22. Then we say to ourselves, how many times does that seven go into 22? And if you think about it, three sevens are 21. 
we wouldn't get four sevens in because that would be 28. So it goes in three times to make 21 and there's one remainder. So it goes in three times and there's one remainder. So that one remainder we write up here to turn this number into 14. Then we say to ourselves, how many times does that 7 go into 14? Well, it goes in twice. Two 7s are 14. So three, uh, 32 is our answer to this question. OK, I want to show you now how you can use short division um, when you're going to get a decimal number as your answer. So 5 divided by 4, you're going to get a decimal number as our answer. And the first thing that you should always do, I advise, is to put in a decimal point and then add some zeros to the right-hand side of it. OK, then make sure that we have a decimal point up here in our answer, ready for, for the decimal point in our answer. OK, then we proceed exactly as we did before. OK, how many times does that 4, how many times does this 4 go into this 5? Well, 4 goes into 5 once with one remainder. So it goes in once and there's one remainder. So notice how that one remainder has gone here to make this number into 10. Okay, how many times does 4 go into 10? Well, it goes in twice to make 8 with 2 remainder. So that 2 remainder gets put up here to turn this number into 20. Okay, so then we ask ourselves how many times... Does that 4 go into 20? Well, it goes in 5 times. So we put the 5 up there. There's no remainder, so that's our answer. 1.25. OK, we're just finished with one final example. I want to show you how you can divide a decimal number by a whole number using short division. So we're going to do 6 0.25 and divide that by 5. So as before, make sure that we put our decimal point ready for in our answer box as you can see there. OK, now proceed as we did before. How many times does that 5 go into this 6? Well, it goes in once with one remainder. It goes in once with one remainder. How many times does that 5 go into 12? Well, it goes in twice to make 10 with two remainder. Goes in twice with two remainder. And to finish off, how many times does 5 go into 25? Well, it goes in five times, doesn't it? Five times five is 25. So the answer to this question is 1.25. That was short division. If you'd like to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.